Constantino. Dole. Pound for pound. Middle Giant Boxing. Here is Rob Garcia. Robert, obviously, huge fight. Valdez versus Navarrete. Yeah, what can't wait. This big? Man, it's, 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 it's one of those fights where, where uh, you know, I can't, I can't say one of the big ones in this year because this year has been great in boxing, man. We've had some great, great fights uh, this year. So I can't say it's the, the, the most anticipated fight because we just had, you know, Spence and Crawford. We've had some great, Ryan great fights. Exactly. Inui, Fote, you know. Yeah, there's, there's been so many fights that I can I can think of them all. But uh, this is another one, man. You know, two Mexicans, you know, they already know. And, you know, top rank, Bob Arum, smart, smart promotion. Probably the, the smart, you know, they bring in Morales and, and, and Barrera. So, like, like, like Navarrete said, they're doing it so we could see and we could say we got to do something similar to what they did. Right. Just smart, to man. To that. Exactly which is smart is I can't wait it's going to be one of those fights man you know Styles Styles make fights and, and Valdez has always always uh, giving us great fights you know broken with you know fight with broken jaw you know fight against uh, Bercher when nobody gave him a chance goes out and knocks him out you know so he, Mexican he, could also, he could also do the same thing against, against Navarrete you know I know everybody picks Navarrete to win uh, but Valdez is one of those guys that you can count him out. He could go out there and he's already proven what he's done before with fighting with a broken jaw. Uh, nobody gives him a chance and he goes and knocks knocks out uh, Berchet cold. You know, he could do it again. He could definitely do it again. So that's why it makes such an exciting fight. I can't wait. It's going to be a great fight. All right, and Robert, I want to get your thoughts on, obviously you heard the comments that Anthony Joshua made as far as you training him. What's your response to him? And like, You know what, I, I don't really pay attention to that. Uh, I, I, honestly, I didn't, I didn't even hear it, you know. Somebody wrote, uh, uh, read it to me, but to me it's like, you know, it's just the way boxing is, man, you know. You know, when you're, when you're with a fighter, you know, everything's going well. You know, and then at the end something goes wrong. You know, and, the and then right, the first one to be blamed is, is is a trainer. You know, you know one thing I will tell you is uh, when I was in in uh, in when when I first got to to a training camp uh, in London in England with uh, with Anthony, the first week there was things that they were doing, people involved that. It's just not my style, and, and honestly, I told I I, I I have other emails, you know, where I told the management team, I called them right away. I said, please fly me home. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. It was a joke. It was a joke the way training camp was going, the way the people that were involved, you know, I'm not gonna mention no names. How was it a joke? Because the things they were doing, you know, to prepare for 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 the fight, you know, things that were going on in training camp, I I, I would just sit. And I would laugh, you know, at my, you know, by myself, you know. I'm, obviously, I wasn't gonna say anything. But then, you know, uh, I told the team, you know, what? I told the management team, can you guys please fly me home? I ain't gonna be part of this. I, I told them to fly me home. They convinced me. They told me to stay and, and talk to everybody, change things around, which I did. Which I did. I changed things around. I talked to the people that that uh, that were involved. That I, you know, that were not doing, you know, the way things that. That should be do that should have been done, and and we all ended up you know in a good in, you know doing good. So they they convinced me to stay. But I, you know one week into camp, I was already gonna leave camp. So if that was the case, they should have just sent me home when I asked them to. You know what I mean? But going back to Anthony's comments, I don't like I said I didn't hear it, and uh, I don't I don't know exactly what came out of his mind uh, his mouth, but. Uh, after after a loss, the first person they always blame is the trainer, you know. And uh, one thing I do know, and uh, I heard it from hundreds of people, that uh, everybody said he looked better than than the first fight. He did better than than the first fight against Usyk. So, you know, you, you know, I was there just one fight against Usyk. You know, I also heard, you know, that he doesn't give credit to his original trainer, his first uh, trainer, exactly. Man, that guy made him an Olympian, a gold medalist, uh, a unified heavyweight champion of the world. So that dude deserves a lot of credit, man. That, is, that guy, that man, I don't know him personally, but you know, for what he did and what he accomplished uh, with Anthony, he should get most of the credit, you know. You know, you know, you're already a unified world champion, 
uh, an Olympian gold medalist. That's the man that needs a, that needs to get the credit for for Anthony's career. You know, one fight with with Derek James, nothing against Derek James. He's a great trainer. You know, I've said it many times. I have a lot of respect for him. But one fight that you win doesn't mean you uh, you really made a, a big difference. Uh, I don't know if you seen. I didn't even see the fight, but. After after his fight, everybody was telling me that he didn't look too good. Mm. Everybody was telling me he didn't look too good. So you know, what fight? Uh, the the fight he had with Jerry James. Uh, you're talking about Joshua? Anthony Joshua. Okay, yeah. yeah, I don't yeah. I don't mean who the fuck he fought. You know, he fought somebody and had a, a win by decision. But a lot of people were calling me. Do you see the fight? Just, I didn't see the fight, and they were telling me that he didn't look very good. I really don't know, and I really don't care anymore. He's not with me anymore, so I don't care. Yeah. I don't care what happens in his career. I really don't. Uh, I did my best when I was with him. I think we had him. Correct me if I'm wrong. If it was up to you, you would have had him come to your camp here to have No, him. well, before I left camp, yeah. that's what I told everybody. You know, I told his management team. I told the whole team. I said, look, guys, things need to change. And if you guys need him, if you want him to, to, uh, to get better and do better, you need to get him out of... Uh, out of uh, England, you gotta get him to the uh, to the states to focus because he he's always the star. He's always been the star wherever he's at. Yeah. So going to uh, coming to the United States, obviously he didn't come. He did. They did do what I asked him to do, but they came to Derrick James. But going in there, where Derrick James is, is training Charlo, undisputed champion of the world. Derrick James is training uh, Errol Spence, uh, Garcia, unified Frank champion Martin. of the world. You know, Anthony was not the star. You know, he is a star, but he was not the star here in the, US. here in the U.S. So that's what he needed. I told him, do that. You know, obviously planning on it being my gym, where he was going to see Jose Ramirez. You know, Mikey would have come in, came in. He would see Bam. He would see he, my dad, you know. And then, off that energy. He needed, he needed to make that move. He did, you know, which is, that I was happy that they did, you know, honestly, because he needed to get out of the, out of, uh, the UK and come to the States to prepare for his fights because that's what he needed. He he couldn't be at home where he's the star, where he everybody around him are just yes men, and uh, that was that was not going to be an, the answer for them. Getting out of there was the answer, and I'm glad he did because he uh, that's what he needs. And 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 another thing that they're doing, which is the perfect thing, is picking the right fights. You know. Don't go in there against uh, uh, right away against uh, Tyson Fury or uh, Wilder. Uh, Wilder or the third fight against Usyk. No, you know, pick the right fights, get two or three of those. I told them, me, me and Rudy Hernandez, we we told them, you, you you know, you guys, you guys, you know, send them to the states, get prepared in the states. Tell me, tell him something after the fight, right? We right. told him, Rudy Hernandez told them uh, after the fight. He said, and Rudy told him straight out, he's like, all you guys are yes men. All you guys Wait, are yes men. Rudy told him, Rudy wasn't the first, Rudy, after the fight. In the locker room. Yeah, in the locker room. Rudy's like, you guys are all yes men, you know, to you guys, crew. to his crew. You guys just need to get him out of, the, out of his, his, uh, his comfort zone and, 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 and get the right fights. He's got so much talent, so much potential, but you know, you gotta get him to a training camp where he's gonna be, he's gonna be focused and he's gonna, he's gonna have rules. He's gonna have time because you think, you think uh, Errol Spence or Charlo are gonna change their time because Anthony Joshua needs to train? No, he's gonna train at the time that Derek James tells him he's gonna train. And that's what he needed. I'm glad that they did it. You know, even though it's not with me, I'm, I'm not, I don't wish him bad. You know, he's, you know, he's a great person. You know, what he said about me, whatever, I really don't care, you know. I don't care. I, he's, he's, you know. Robert, you've made world champions the, from the ground. From the uh, ground, you know, from the amateur, from, from the amateur, from, lot, from the pro debuts. All the claim trainers haven't done that. Exactly. It's just the way it is, you know. I, I've, I've done it with, with, with fighters that nobody expects them to, to one day become world champions. And they not only become world champions, but become multimillionaires. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've done it. I've done it many times from the pro debut to become a world champion. Uh, I've done it, you pro know. Pro debut to retirement. Exactly. So I've done it many many times you know so so you know it's, it's just you know the way boxing is you know you lose a fight and that's the first person they blame all the time you know promoters get away with it managers get away with it trainers are the ones that get blamed man and I can't win them all either that's true.